Hello artists, today we're going to make your own version of Renee Magritte's false mirror, which is the one with the giant eye that has clouds in it instead of an iris. So you have a piece of paper, please write your name and hide it on the back. Then I have a stencil to make your life so much easier. Your paper needs to be laying horizontally. We're going to take this eye stencil and trace it. Then we need to add some extra details. So over here on the curb and we're going to put a curve like so. Then we need to make part of a circle. If you need to turn your paper, that is fine. We're doing part of a circle and not a complete circle because when you are human and your eyes are open, you can't see the entire iris. You just see part of the iris. We're not worrying about the pupil right now. We will deal with that later. Then we're going to show a little ridge. So we're just copying this line along the bottom of the eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on the, on the top, but this one's going to be a little bigger. All right, we now have an eye. Yes, they're all going to look a little bit alike right now. I'm choosing normal skin color for mine. So I've got chalk. If you need to, we can get scrap and test. It definitely looks like a very light peachy color. There we go. That's better. Slightly orange. <laughs> Ooh, that's better still. Okay, we're going to take the chalk, leaving the eye alone. We're going to take the chalk and make all of the skin covered in chalk. I'm not knocking off any of the dust yet. I'm going to need that dust. Next, we will have some type of tissue, and we're going to blend. I'm keeping control, following the line very carefully. If you still have chalk dust, shake it off to the side. Don't shake it off on your project. Okay. Before we get too many details out here, we're going to... Add a little pink in here because this part of your eye is pink. Doing a darker pink and then a lighter pink. And this we're going to blend carefully with your finger. One more time, don't worry about the little smears here and there. And wipe my finger on the tissue. That's how we'll clean it for today. We do want your eye to have a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to trace with some gray. Notice I'm not on the circle. I'm leaving the circle alone for now. So tracing with some gray on the outside edges. Then blend that with my finger. I'm following the line when I blend. If you accidentally get somewhere you don't want it, guess what? The tissue is great for wiping some of that away very carefully. Okay, now the eyelid needs some shadow too. Testing for a color that's darker than what I used, but not too dark. Super dark. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to trace that line. And follow it with your finger. And I'm repeating on the top. Trace the line. This one I'm making a little thicker. And follow with your finger. Shake, shake, shake. We need scissors. 
Probably not what you were expecting. I'm going to take that eye, the middle of the eye, this circle, pinch it, pinch its eyeball, and cut a slit with your scissors. And we're sticking your scissors in the slit, and we are cutting on that round line that we drew. So the center of the eye is gone. Next, you will pick out a calendar page. And this is going to go behind your eye. So this lets us know how much room we need in this piece that we cut out. So I'm trying to lay it in an area that you find to be interesting and draw a circle around it that is bigger than the circle that we cut. That is really important. Then we flip over your eyeball and take a glue stick and go around the circle. And glue this on. Make sure it covers the hole. Give it a nice massage. So I have this magnificent mountain. <laughs> and we need a pupil still. So we have black paper and a circle. I'm going to trace the circle and cut. And I'm putting glue on the pencil side. And glue it to the center. If you have any smears, we can make them disappear with a pencil eraser 